I'm going to show you how to sign up for WordPress.com, what the difference is between WordPress.com and WordPress.org, and why we want you to sign up for WordPress.com. So in your website, which uses WordPress, which is a program, to run the website, we're going to be installing a special plugin. And in that plugin, there's going to be a lot of extra cool tools and functionality that you're going to get with your website. The plugin is called Jetpack. So I'm going to go ahead and install Jetpack. And now I'm going to activate Jetpack. And now you're going to see it over here in the left hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Jetpack. Now Jetpack has a lot of cool functions. Um, it has automated social marketing. It will actually track your um, statistics. It will show you that. It gives you some extra security. It optimizes images. So we've got a lot of different cool tools. However, it's going to ask you to sign up. So we handle all of this for you. All you need to do is sign up for WordPress.com. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to WordPress.com and you're going to sign up here. Now it's going to make it look like you're creating a website. You're not. It's basically you're just going to create an account on WordPress.com. WordPress.com is kind of a social site similar to Facebook or Twitter. So you can sign up for WordPress.com and you can actually create a blog but it's not going to be a full-blown website. It's actually kind of like the light version of the WordPress full program which we're using to build your site. So for instance, if you go to WordPress.org, you're going to notice that here you can actually download the whole program and it even tells you what it is. WordPress is a web software you can use to create a beautiful website, blog, or app. We like to say that WordPress is both free and priceless at the same time. It is. It's awesome. It's open source software. There's lots of people that create plugins and um, different uh, themes and things that go with WordPress and this is what we're using to build your website which is going to be hosted either on our server or elsewhere but it's your own website so this is what we're using when we download the plugin that's called Jetpack we need to have a WordPress.com account to connect to so that it will allow you to have all these extra functions so what are you going to do you're going to come here to WordPress.com and you're going to click create website. The first thing you're going to do is go ahead and choose the uh, different topic. So business services, maybe real estate, and you're going to, it doesn't matter what you click here, just go ahead and click this. And then you can go down to the bottom, click skip for now. Now, you're not going to have a domain name for this. There is no domain name for this. Remember, this is totally free, so you can just type in whatever. And I'll go ahead and hit that. Uh, let's see if this one is available. Find one that's available. We'll go ahead and select this one. You can click keep typing whatever you want in here until the first one is the one that you want. This is the free one, not the upgrades. And you go ahead and hit select. Now over here, you're going to select free. And then you're going to give your email address. This is your email address, not mine. I'm just putting mine in so I can sign up. Your username stays the same as your um, as whatever it is that you set up for the domain name and then you can create a password and then click create my account so then it's going to go ahead and create your account now they're also going to send you an email to your domain or to your email address to whatever you signed up for to confirm so the next thing that you have to do is go to your email And you'll go ahead and refresh till you get the email address. There it is. And click confirm now. 
and then you're all done. So you can go ahead and sign in if you want, but really you can just forget about it after this. You don't need it. All you need to do is go back to your Teamwork account and enter the email address, username, and password you just signed up for in your notebook so that we can set it up in your new website. And that's it. That's how you sign up for WordPress.com and what the difference is between WordPress.com and WordPress.org and why we need it. Hopefully this has helped you. If you have any questions, please uh, give us a call or shoot us an email at support at yoursiteneedsme.com. Thanks and have a great day. Yeah,